Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions and you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make, have to make the assumption because you'll know the truth. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 182, NASDAQ up 124, S&P's up 22. Gold, gold contract up $20.60, trading at 1978 an ounce. We have silver up 81 cents, $24.34 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 35. $71.18 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, up 15 ticks, trading 113.22. The 30-year up a full point, plus three ticks at 127.19 and King Dollar. King Dollar's taking it on the chin out here. Down 731, 103, 368. The euro is at 107, the yen's at 138, and the British pound is at 125 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get this dollar down, giving breathing room to the market in a big way. And you know, this market wants higher price, man. It's it's hard to comprehend, but it does. Now the contraction out here is pretty good today. I mean, yesterday, you know, in the SP, you really didn't get to a lower low. We'll talk about the NDX in a second. But the S&P, you know, we went, we had a volume of uh, 85 million, but you really, you know, well, you, you were digging into 91 anyway. Now what's happening is you get to 42, you probably do 52 or something, but you haven't even hit the high yet. The high we're talking about, the last high up here was the 429.67. We've got the 429.20. We'll probably lay out here. Maybe tomorrow it blows by that. That swing point wants to be hit, which that swing point is at the uh, price point of that 431. So it's only a couple points up there, but that thing wants to get hit, and we'll see whether that just blows it away. Because this is what does happen, which is really... So you can see the swing point where the SPY is, is right next to it. And when I bring the Qs up, you're going to see the differential here. Now, let's go into the E-minis first. We bring up the E-minis. We take a look at the intraday chart, and... What we have intraday here, yeah, we already tested the low at light of volume. They did that right, right after it hit a low. That was at 10 o'clock this morning. You can see that we had a low with volume, tested it with light of volume, goes topside. Volume is dying on the vine up here, so I don't expect this to go anywhere except stay where it is. We go into the NDX, the three Qs, and what you're going to see with the three Qs, we came off that high with volume. Now, what I've seen many times is this, folks is that you come off the high with volume, it goes to another leg up, you can come off that with volume, it goes to another leg up. It's almost like a three drives to the top. And it's possible that that's what we're gonna get here. You can see yesterday the volume exploded to the downside. This is definitely what's going down. 60, 69 million after we had made a high with 47 million. Now you're going up with 37 today. And you know, bottom line, it's another contraction. That, say, that being said, if we still go back to this swing point, what you're going to see is that that swing point is just a little magnet that's saying, come to daddy, all the way up at this level. And that, that level is the 371 area. Notes and bonds, bottom line is that, you know, you came down yesterday. Now, what happened yesterday is this in the note and bond market. You know, you had come down, but you didn't get two different things in the paper. You didn't get to the lowest swing point, and you actually had lighter volume for what you were going against. So... It, it was an expansion of volume, what we had done. We did 1.6 million contracts in the 10, yet the 10 was going against 2 million contracts. Now, today's a beauty. Well, if you're bullish, I'm bullish on notes and bonds, meaning higher price, lower yield. My take is that the, the yields have already topped out. So what you have here is this. We got under the lows. We got to a price point of 112.30. We're at 113.23. That's quite a move. Thus far, we've only done one point let's say call it 1.4, it's 1.39257 right now. That's still saying, guess what? 
notes and bonds that the 10 year wants to go to 127.25. We go into the, let's go look at gold. We look at the gold contract. Gold contract is, you know, getting some heat behind it because the dollar, no doubt, is getting wrecked. Now, that being said, it's not enough volume, man. Unbelievable. It's so weird. You know, we should be banging out two, two, 225, and right now you're banging out 183. So you're going, you're going into 210. You know, it's, it's holding price out here today. That's, that's, that's a plus. But the bottom line is we should have more volume there. So we'll see where that shakes out. But then we get into the dollar, and we have with the dollar. The dollar, you know, this has wide price spread on the way down today. You know, that's, that's a big move in the dollar, man. The dollar... We moved from 104.73 to 103.29. You know, so as I said earlier, we had done a 7.6 retracement, and now we are approaching a 0.382 pullback from the last leg up. So we'll see what happens at that level. But, you know, when you start putting it together, is that if, in fact, the market is going to get to those higher levels, I suspect we're going to get some help from that good old U.S. dollar. Don't forget today, folks, uh, right, at, uh, right after the show, 4 to 6, our man, Mr. Tim Ord, who nailed this market, no doubt about that. Uh, if you want to understand the different tools that he uses to take a look at that market, just come over to our website, sign up right now. It's only $295. You know, it's going to be a great workshop. It's going to be on your page for as long as you want because you will have to go over this a few different times because... The indicators are indicators that you've heard of, that's for sure. But the way that he does the ratios is definitely different. And it, they're simple ratios, but they're the bottom line that they are ratios. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 173. We get the NASDAQ up 128. S&Ps are up 22. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>